you ever heard a video, you want to hear this one. This is the 10th chapter of the book of Revelations. You eat the little book and you're going to eat poison. And I told I saw a long time ago, I said, you can't preach Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's not the way. That was under the old covenant. The new covenant started when Jesus shed his blood on Calvary. They were still sacrificing sheep. They were circumcising people. They was paying tithes under the old covenant. And he was putting people on the wrong track. And I told him, I said, you're going to get a noisome, grievous sore. Now read. This is Bysoff's words. And on a video he made this month. It's called, he said, Today I went for my ninth radiation therapy. Nineteen more to go. As the radiation therapist was preparing me for radiation, the one therapist asked me about South Africa, and then the other one asked me why I came to America. Why did I come here? Why did I come here? And I said, because God sent me. I shared my testimony with him how 20 years ago I had a heart attack and I died. Even though I was a Christian, I found myself on my way to hell. But I pleaded with Jesus, and he allowed me to come back, to come and warn the world that Jesus is alive and hell is real. And also, that not long after the heart attack, Jesus gave me a vision of a place called Baltimore on the east coast of the U.S., and he told me to go there, which I did. And that is why I came here, to come and witness for Jesus, to come and tell the world that Jesus is alive and hell is real. It was also here that I was diagnosed with cancer. The one therapist was very quick to remark that the purpose for me getting cancer was so that I could share my testimony with them. They thanked me for sharing my testimony with them. That was my experience with so many doctors, nurses, and hospital personnel with whom I shared my testimony since I was diagnosed with cancer. Jesus has a purpose with us, and he uses us for his purpose so that we can witness for him. Now, Vassal got cancer from Jesus so he could witness to doctors. Now, how, how stupid is that? That's, that's creepy crazy. And I want Duncan to read to you the way our kingdom really is. Our kingdom will not work that way. You eat this Bible. He taught that so many years, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. God is punishing him. And he turned it around and said, Jesus gave him cancer so he could tell the medical profession about it. Okay, now read. Eating the little book means you have faith in the book instead of in the spirit. The book is okay as history, but not for faith. Revelation 16, 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome, grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. That's exactly what happened to Basel. But he can't accept it. You can't correct a Bible worshiper. Mm -hmm. A Bible worshiper cannot receive chastisement. From the Lord, no. James 5, verses 14 and 15. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Does that sound like Jesus gives you cancer to go witness? Okay. If you have cancer, you're being punished. and Or you're being uh, punished because you're contrary to Christ. Mark 16, 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Now that's the way God works in his kingdom. He don't give you cancer to go witness. And then you don't go to the doctor, the devil, to get healed. John 16, 2 and 3. And they shall put you out of the synagogues, the churches. Yea, the time comes that whosoever kills you will think that he does God's service or does God's will. And these things will they do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. So you can't chasten a Bible worshiper. This world is gone now. It's no hope for the world. You cannot correct a Bible person. Listen real close to what I'm going to tell you. I was in Shreveport, Louisiana. The Holy Ghost came upon me. It's like this. And Jesus spoke five words to me. He said, the Bible is 
an idol. Remember this. Do not eat this poison. The Bible is the poison pill. That's why your belly will be bitter. You must eat the flesh and drink the blood of Jesus Christ. Remember what he told me. I feel the Holy Ghost as I tell you this. The Bible is an idol. When Satan has it, it's the word of Satan.